Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. Be the difference in someone's life today. Phone 1800 257 296 or visit catholicmission.org.au. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have, mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God of everlasting mercy, who in the very recurrence of the Paschal Feast kindle the faith of the people you have made your own, Increase, we pray, the grace you have bestowed, that all may grasp and rightly understand in what font they have been washed, by whose spirit they have been reborn, by whose blood they have been redeemed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The whole group of believers was united, heart and soul. No one claimed for his own use anything that he had, as everything they owned was held in common. The Apostles continued to testify to the resurrection of Lord Jesus with great power, and they were all given great respect. None of their members was ever in want, as all those who owned land or houses would sell them and bring the money from them to present it to the apostles. It was then distributed to any members who might be in need. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good, for His love endures forever. Let the sons of Israel say, His love endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. 
stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, a marvel in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ has been begotten by God. And whoever loves the father that begot him loves the child whom he begets. We can be sure that we love God's children if we love God himself and do what he has commanded us. This is what loving God is, keeping his commandments. And his commandments are not difficult because anyone who has been begotten by God has already overcome the world. This is the victory over the world, our faith. Who can overcome the world? Only the man who believes that Jesus is the son of God, Jesus Christ, who came by water and blood, not with water only, but with water and blood with the Spirit as another witness, since the Spirit is the truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me. Happy are those who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the evening of that same day, the first day of the week, The doors were closed in the room where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them. He said to them, Peace be with you, and showed them his hands and his side. The disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord, and he said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father sent me, so am I sending you. After saying this, he breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. For those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. For those whose sins you retain, they are retained. Thomas, called the twin, who was one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. When the disciples said, We have seen the Lord, he answered, Unless I see the holes that the nails made in his hands and can put my finger into the holes they made, and unless I can put my hand into his side, I refuse to believe. Eight days later, the disciples were in the house again, and Thomas was with them. The doors were closed, But Jesus came in and stood among them. Peace be with you, he said. Then he spoke to Thomas, Put your finger here. Look, here are my hands. Give me your hand. Put it into my side. Doubt no longer, but believe. Thomas replied, My Lord and my God, Jesus said to him, You believe because you can see me. Happy are those who have not seen and yet believe. There were many other signs that Jesus worked and the disciples saw, but they were not recorded in this book. These are recorded so that you may believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, 
and that believing this, you may have life through his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. One of the great difficulties and challenges that we can have as we hear these Gospels year after year is that we can forget the initial original impact of the resurrection. In fact, for the early disciples, the resurrection was a totally novel event. No one had even conceived of what resurrection could be like, despite the fact that Ezekiel speaks about it, the the field of the bones coming together, and that Jesus had told them that after his passion he would rise again. This was all foreign to them. So here he is now on Easter Sunday, coming into the upper room where the disciples were for fear of the Jews. The doors were closed, and St. John goes at length to let us know that Jesus came straight through the walls. And notice what St. John says. He says, peace be with you. The same words that he, in fact, had instructed his disciples when he'd sent them out. Remember the 72 in pairs going to each of the places where he himself was to visit. He says, let your first words be, peace be with you. But as providence would have it, Thomas wasn't with them. And Thomas then It's not until eight days later. Naturally enough, they're so full of joy. Thomas, guess what happened? You would never believe this. The Lord is alive. He showed us his hands and they would have told him all the story. But St. Thomas, well, he had a wound, a wound of his own, his doubt. I refuse to believe. Notice, faith is a decision. He refuses to believe. This is the evidence I need, and then I'll believe. So then a days quickly passes, and Thomas is now there, and Jesus immediately comes to him and says, Thomas, here, put your finger into the nails or the holes that the nails have made. Give me your hand. Put it into my side. And seeing his hand vanishing away as it's going to the side of the Lord, And at that moment, Thomas is healed of his own profound wound, his unbelief. And our Lord says to him, do not be unbelieving in the Greek, but believing. You and I have our own wounds. Let us now turn to Christ and not be afraid to touch him in his wounds, knowing that his wounds will set us free and bring us the healing that we all need. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, God calls us to respond in faith in the risen Lord. Let us bring our needs and those of the world before the God of us all. For the church, that it be a visible sign of Christ's presence. In faith we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who do not believe, that their doubt will turn to faith. In faith we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick, that the peace of Christ will dwell in their hearts. In faith we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, you breathe your spirit on your people 
and strengthen the hearts of believers. Hear our prayers and help us who have not seen to be messengers of Christ's peace. We ask this through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, let your mercy be on us as we place our trust in you. The word of the Lord is faithfulness and love. This love can never be measured. God's beauty is like nothing we have ever seen. So let us place our trust in God. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the Lord of the Church. Accept, Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and of those you have brought to new birth, that, renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Brian our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Come see his hands and his feet The scars that speak of sacrifice Hands that flung stars into space To coolness surrender Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our hearts and minds through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. May Almighty God bless you through today's Easter solemnity, and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.